Hey, Coach Devin here. One thing I find is people are spending less and less time letting their mind wander, and because of that, they're not as productive. I'm sure you spend lots of time saying, man, I just don't have time to do the things I wanna do. Uh, I don't have time to think about things. Well, guess what? This is the video for you. Before we get going, please click the heart. It is down below and subscribe. So this is an interesting situation for people nowadays that you spend all of your time on your phone with your mind engaged in stupid crap. Uh, that's just the facts. That's what people do. And it's sort of disappointing because of the fact that there's no ability to be creative anymore. Uh, so to give an idea for myself, I... I love motorcycles and I live in a climate, as you can see probably in the background, it's cold. It gets cold in the winter time in the fall and really in the spring here too. And that means I don't have a lot of time on the motorcycle. So what do I, do I wanna be in a motorcycle? Well, the reason is pretty simple. I work things through in my mind when I'm on the motorcycle. I like to go out country road someplace and just drive. I don't listen to music or anything like that. I just look at the scenery and work out problems or issues or whatever that I happen to have. When I'm on the motorcycle, that is the time I'm most creative. I'm most creative with programming for clients, with coming up for things for business, all of it. And it's because my mind is not encumbered with other things. Uh, it gives my mind a chance to turn off and, and figure out the things that I want to be thinking about. Uh, another time for me that is always very uh, productive is the shower. Uh, I don't have anything else to do in the shower. I'm not listening to music or anything like that. So while I'm in the shower, I am able to be productive and creative. And that's the thing. I tend to think up really good business ideas when I'm in the shower. So why is it that th those are the only times I'm doing that? It's because that we spend all our damn time on our phone uh, looking at things on social media. That is the God's honest truth. The problem we have is when you have downtime, what do you do? Well, when you have downtime, you sit there and you scroll on your phone. You look at Instagram and you scroll through a million different pictures from people that you don't care about just because you're like, oh, well, I'm going to look at that right now and then and see how that all is. Or you spend your time on Facebook and you are scrolling through liking stuff you don't care about. Or you get in the rabbit hole of, uh, of the internet and you're wandering and next thing you know you're down some weird place looking at some stuff that you don't care about. I mean, for me personally, I'm a huge football fan and... Uh, I will end up in the rabbit hole of Wikipedia for draft picks and trying to figure out where my Chicago Bears went wrong. I know, seems silly. I mean, in reality, I know my Bears have gone wrong in all kinds of places. But uh, in the end of the day, that is a time waster. And I'll tell you right now, it's useless. I mean, why am I doing it? There's no reason. I just do it. It's, it's, it's just become a stupid habit. And that's something that I've been working at breaking. So what, how do I came up with the idea of having this video is I was driving to work today. Uh, and actually this goes back to the other day. Uh, I sat down and decided I was going to have like a nineties in my mind, a nineties, eighties, uh, football day or football game day. So I was watching the bears on TV, put away my phone, turned it on silent. I just watched it, watched the whole game, uh, watched the commercials, all of it. And I felt like I was back in university or in high school and I could watch a team and it was exciting and the whole, I was into the game. There was no looking up stupid stats online or any of the other stuff that I ordinarily would do. I just sat there and enjoyed the game. And I gotta tell you, it was it was a great, cool experience and I enjoyed it a lot more. Uh, so then I started thinking, well, there's, there's a problem with this. And then the other day I was driving to work and I didn't turn on sound uh, music, which I don't tend to listen to anyway, but I, I tend to listen to audiobooks. Uh, I didn't listen to an audiobook. Uh, I just drove the truck, listened to the, the sound of the Jeep driving and, uh, thought about life. <laughs> that's the best way to put it. And you know what? At the time, you know what? That's when you become creative. I came up with some cool programming ideas for my clients just driving, you know, 18 minutes to work. Well, why is it that I could do that is because my brain was off. I wasn't concentrating on dumb stuff that I don't care about or listening to an audiobook, which in most cases I like audiobooks, but you know what? It again, it doesn't allow me to really concentrate and try new things. I'm sure everybody else is in the same boat. You you spend your time when you're in the doctor's office you're mindlessly scrolling on your phone. You're in a lineup at the grocery store, what happened? Phone out, scroll, 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 looking at a bunch of dumb crap that you don't care about because you're bored. Back in the old days, and it wasn't that long ago, guys, that we used to interact with the people around us or we would just think. And there's nothing wrong with thinking. In fact, that's where all the magic happens. You, you can't be creative. And when I say creative, I mean successful, really, because you can't be successful without being creative and you can't, 
get anywhere if you don't give your brain time to to just go be creative. Uh, if you're doing things all the time, if you're on in front of the television watching Netflix, if you are watching Amazon Prime, if you're watching Disney Plus, if you're, you know, on your phone scrolling and looking at Snapchat and Instagram and stories on Facebook or whatever the hap- you happen to be doing and what your vice is, if you're not doing that, you give your brain time to come up with cool ideas. Your brain needs to come up with cool ideas. If you want to do anything interesting in your life, you get to give it some time. And the problem is we're not giving it any time. We're just sitting there mindlessly scrolling, engaged in something we don't care about. I mean, I can tell you right now, if you, I said to you, what did you look at on Instagram yesterday? 99% of you would not remember what you looked at on Instagram yesterday. You just wouldn't because it's not important because you don't care or Facebook, or Snapchat, or somebody's story doing whatever. It's got to be pretty impressive if you uh, if you remember it. In most cases, you don't remember it at all. So what is the answer to this? Well, I'm not saying dump social media. My hat is off to all those people that dump social media and move on from it. Good for you. However, you, social media is pretty ubiquitous. I need it. I know I have to. Con- I talk to clients on social media all the time. It's a great advertising tool. It's not something that I can just give up and walk away from. I'm not saying you should give up and walk away from it, but I am saying give yourself some time away from it. Half an hour a day of time that you are not thinking about anything and you're just letting your mind wander and and or working through a problem will be good for you. You'll feel better about yourself. You'll feel more accomplished. You'll come up with great ideas. You'll come up with ways to do new things. Lots of good things will happen if you give yourself just a little bit of time off social media and letting your brain do what it's designed to do, which is come up with cool ideas and and go for it and build things. You want to be successful? Go give your brain some time to be creative. That's the bottom line. So get the heck off social media. Give yourself half an hour a day. It's not a whole heck of a lot. It's not even an hour a day, half an hour a day. Even if you're just driving in your car, turn the sound, let it, let things come to you. You will be happier, you will feel better about yourself, and you will be much more creative because of it. I put together a really cool PDF. It's free. It's called Devin's Guide to Amazing Abs. If you click the link, it's down there in the description. You can download it. Have yourself an amazing day. Don't fight the awesome and get off your phone.